banana? Yep. Just banana. Okay. Yep. Well, we're back. We're going to be doing the final part, which is um, we're going to tier the actual games because why wouldn't we? Um, <clears throat> so as you all know, there are 11 games. There's actually a lot of appearances of uh, Ace Attorney in various games, like in fighting games and all that, but we don't give a damn about that. We actually just care about the games themselves. Um, Honestly, the I really wish I could I could find the the gif of Maya shooting the gun because it was amazing. I hope you. I want to see Maya shooting a gun. We put we put Marvel vs. Capcom three in the no tier. Yeah, I like Marvel that game though. That's a good so solid fighter. Yeah, but there's like a I can't remember. It was one of those like newer fighter games. I can't remember if it was in like a. Um, Maybe somebody knows who I'm, what I'm talking about, but anyway, there's Phoenix and there's Maya, uh, and like Maya will come like out and just like shoot a gun. Weird. I, I the idea of well that just explains something here um, about uh, Maya. Maya is, in my opinion, the the world's best serial killer because she is so <laughs> successful at murdering people. Like. She's even done it in, in like in the past. Like all the murders that happen inside of Great Ace Attorney, those are on Maya. Tell me I'm wrong. This is all it's all just reminding me of Xander has a has an emote in her server that's called Roll Gun and it's from some fan game and it's just roll holding a literal normal gun. It's not a buster or anything. She just has a gun <laughs> in her hand. I feel like this is the energy we're bringing here. <laughs> uh, listen, that might have improved Marvel oh. too. <laughs> <laughs> I found the image of it. I can't remember what game this is. Here, I'm putting it in the DM chat. Oh, Here I need to see go. this. I can probably put it in. Jesus the... Christ, Maya! Oh, oh it is my Marvel God! Plus Capcom Three. Um, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> wow. Put, let me put that on this. Put on the stream for everybody so they can see it too. Cause like. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Phoenix looks appropriately shocked. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the same picture I saw, yeah. Oh, is it a mod? Listen. That's a mod. Still, somebody did some work, and I love oh. it. I like the idea of Maya shooting a gun. But, we can let's talk about the games, including the one where Maya's actually executed. Okay. <laughs> Which is Leighton versus Right. Maya's actually executed in this game. What? Yeah. Uh, she, got, she gets what she gets. Yeah. Leighton versus Right. Leighton versus Right suffers from... Having a bunch of Ace Attorney cases, but the plot is actually secretly latent, and those are not compatible. Yes, yes. that's that's exactly the problem with with Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney. It's it uh -huh. is a game that could have like been executed in a perfectly fine way, but the problem is the whole game wanted to set you up for one big latent twist at the end, and that works for Layton. It works mm -hmm. every time for Layton. It works for. Because you haven't had to solve a mystery. You're just being taken along for a ride. So a cool twist mm -hmm. at the end is like, oh, that's neat. But like when the entire game is predicated on deductions and logic and at the very end you find out that they're, uh, that it's just, the whole thing's a big twist. Uh, it just feels cheap. It's basically, yeah. it's basically what happens if you take, um, what's that movie um, with uh, Jim Carrey? Um, uh, the Truman Show. Truman Show? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like basically it's the Truman Show. And the the big problem I have with this is including all of that is like okay this is this is I'm gonna try and not rant about this because Aura and Misty have had to hear me talk about this uh, ad nauseum but uh -huh. the the big problem I have with this is that there's no consequences for everyone which I've understand is the whole latent thing but it's not compatible with Phoenix right and my biggest beef with the incompatibilities is like. At the very end, it's revealed that, you know, uh, the story master has, like, some sort of disease and that he's going to die. But then, like, four sentences later, it's like, oh, you know, but I got a call today. Some miracle drug has, has come out and I'm going to be OK and I'm going to get a surgery next week. And then everybody's all fucking happy at the end. Meanwhile, Eve, whose dad uh, kills himself, like, midway through the story, is completely overlooking that whole situation there. But everybody's happy. <laughs> Like, that pissed me the fuck off. No consequences. It The the saddest thing for me is, like, the particular twist they did isn't even unique among Layton games. Like, the very mm. specific twist. There are other Layton games that literally already did that. Almost exactly. 
There's various better twists in latent games as well. I mean, it just it just doesn't work as a Phoenix Wright game. I mean, that's that's where I land on it. I don't mm-hmm. I don't know how much we have to say about it. It's just it it just doesn't work as a latent game fundamentally or mm-hmm. a, a Phoenix Wright game fundamentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. good. So where do we so put that, this? I think yeah. it's in no tier. Yeah, I think it's I no. Agree. I mean, if my my attitude toward Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright has always been that I would never recommend someone play it unless they're a super fan of Ace Attorney and just want to play every Ace Attorney game. In which yeah. case, I'd say this is a fine game to complete. But like, yeah, I would I would never say to someone, "Oh, you got to play this game. It's very good." Because it's is, not. This is the only Phoenix Wright game that I would actually consider speedrunning, and that's not a good thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Considering oh. you're speedrunning basically a, a visual novel. Ooh. Yeah, Just yeah, exactly. You gotta speedrun those puzzles, put those blocks in the right order. Well, Ikio oh. in my chat right now, she's actually speedrun all the latent games, and she has speedrun this game, so... Um, okay, then we got Investigations 2. I'm torn between the top two categories. Yeah, I I think it's extremely strong. I mean, I've always I've always considered mm-hmm. it extremely strong. It's got a lot of really great things going for it that I think puts it in outstanding for me. Mm-hmm. Ace Attorney Randomizer, what the hell is wrong with you? Um... <laughs> I play it. Um, I probably hate it, but I'd play it. I I kind of feel like it is outstanding. I think that it's 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 a solid game. It does something with Edgeworth that has not been done before. Um, and I feel like it really, like, Ace Attorney 1 establishes Edgeworth, but I feel like um, Investigations 2 polishes him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then there's Investigations 1, which is... Um, I kind of am thinking movie tier, to be entirely honest with you. I, I think this is a collection say... of mediocre cases. Yeah, I was going to say, it... like, I liked most of the cases, but, like, the last case in particular, like, I really wish there was just, like, a play button. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'd, I'd like personally put it higher, but I get it. Yeah, yeah. I, I personally it. like the game quite a bit, but it also has problems. And with two right there, and it's unfortunate because um, two never got an English release. So I, you know, you have to yeah. go and apply an English translation to it. And you know, it you could have a very good one, a very mm-hmm, good one, yeah. which I did play with. And I will say that, like, because of Ace Attorney's weak, sorry, Investigation's weakness. Um, it never sold well in English, and they never bothered to release two because they didn't think it would sell well. But I actually think it would because it's actually a far better story. Mm, I think yeah. also my understanding is good. Sorry, I was just gonna say two was also a very late release for the DS. It mm. was pushing up against the release of the 3DS in Japan, and by the time it would have been localized, the 3DS was already out. I think even if one had sold all right they probably would have had a hard time pushing to bring it over here, given that. Which is too bad. Yeah, because it even got a mobile port. Like, I played um, Investigations on um, iOS, and there is actually a release of two on iOS, but it's on Japanese only, so it's really I will sad. say, I will say that if we're not judging the game based solely on its cases, which we've already evaluated, I do think that the novelty of a brand new type of system that still integrates well with the Ace Attorney world, but it's just a mechanically completely different concept works really well. Like the moment I started Ace Attorney Investigations, I was instantly hooked. I wasn't concerned with like how how logical the cases were, how sound the stories were. Like I was just like captivated by the idea like I'm taking a whole different approach to this universe. No. I agree. And the fact that you're not going in the courtroom, that you're interrogating people outside the courtroom gives them a lot of freedom to pace it very differently in a way that, okay, we have three days and the trial goes at a specific point every day, means that the pacing has to be considered differently in the mainline games and give them freedom to break from that in a way that they used in really interesting ways. One On the thing. flip side, I think that pacing change actually is what introduces some of the pacing problems, particularly in one. Like mm. in cases where ca- in situations where cases drag or which it just seems like you're interrogating the same person a million times, especially in case five, I feel like those are almost to some degree due to that that freedom. I'm in agreement. I'm gonna say that again. Yeah, I'm in agreement. I think it's a movie tier mm. game. It's. Um, I will say um, being able to see a walking um, Edgeworth is really strange. But hey, we got a funny meme out of it, so you know. Um, great Ace Attorney 2 I'm going to say it's outstanding uh, 
Uh -huh. like, there's no argument, I feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but then, what do we say about one? It's... I still think it's quite solid. Yeah. I mean... yeah. It's really solid. It's one of those weird things where, like, two completes it in such a weird way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's but... hard to consider them separate from each other. It is, mm -hmm. but as a standalone... As a standalone, I still think it has a lot of really fantastic novelty, like the arc of starting in Japan and approaching the case mm -hmm. directly like that, and then being on a ship, and it's not a court case at all, it's just mm -hmm. sort of a different type of concept, and then getting thrust into a completely different, like it, the, this game has such a wild arc, uh, just in the first three cases, mm. it's kind of hard not to commend it for what it accomplished. That is fair. Or would you put this in outstanding or solid, though? I think top is reasonable. Okay. Yeah, same. I you, there's a reason why it's sold as a bundle. So <laughs> yeah, Spirit of Justice. I want to say it's at least solid. I'll agree. I'd call it solid. Yeah, it's. I'm only two cases in, but I'll agree <laughs> with that. <laughs> it's it's not outstanding because it's it does have some pacing issues that you know you don't see in Great Ace Attorney, which tells you tells you the difference in the writing. But then. The writing is the same for these for two in uh, Spirit of Justice anyway, so it's kind of interesting. I'd almost be willing to argue it for top tier on the strength of its final case, but that's fair. I'm fine with it here as well. That's fair. Um, Dual Destinies, I want to say is inconsistent. No, it's awful. It's the worst game. Yeah, it goes but in the bottom tier. But Dual Destinies, the Dark Age of the Law would still exist. Yeah, did you, did you know that? The... That's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dark age of the law. I love, I loved how often the, the when the concept of dark age of the law came along, I was just like, hey, did you know that it's the dark age of the law, everybody? It's the dark age of the law, and it's it's. So we had banana bread and coffee for breakfast, and also it's the dark age of the law. Yeah, it's literally that. It's like the whole time, and then like you don't really understand like how did they come to the conclusion that it's no longer the dark age of the law. Because they gave up on Apollo Justice's plot threads. <laughs> uh huh. Honestly, though, because Apollo Justice was a really good game, and this one just really was not as yeah. good as Apollo Justice. Which so they, like, five is so I bad. feel like they had a concept. Yes. And then they handed the concept to a different team of writers, and they were like, here are the bullet points. Don't fuck this up. The, the concept was go. abandoned everything that Apollo Justice ever stood for. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I've got to go right, Leighton versus right. <laughs> yes. Do not fuck my baby up. Well, that's the <laughs> problem is, is that Leighton versus right fucked up mainline Ace Attorney. That's the, the, <laughs> the existence of that game messed everything up. I mean, only in the sense that Chu Takumi didn't want to make any damn more Ace Attorney games. That's true. And they forced him to for four. Yeah. Under objection. Which then leads us into 4, which is actually a solid game. Four, is, yeah. 4 has two really strong cases and two cases that I think are okay. Yeah. it's 4 is one of my favorites, period. It's just really good. The highs are really, really, really high is the thing. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the lows, though, that kind of drag it down, though. That's the problem. Like, I don't, I don't feel like it fits in Outstanding, but, like, I don't feel like it fits no. in Movie Tier. Like... No. It's... Yeah, it's, uh, it's the two middle cases. Like, if this game were just, like, the first case and the last case, that would stand. It'd be really short. It'd be really short, but there'd be two outstanding cases. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get into Ace Attorney 3, Trials and Tribulations. Come on, that goes on the top. Of course it does. That's oh, yeah. outstanding. Yeah, there's, there's no, no way we could have... Uh, I didn't fight for the other ones. I'll fight for this one. Yeah, there's no way, because, like, again, I will say... I. I don't want to say this now, but I may as well. I say three is my favorite. Out of all the Ace Attorney games, three is my favorite. Um, it's a game that I would happily replay over and over again. It's that sort of good. Um, yeah, I think I can mm -hmm. do that. <clears throat> but then we get Ace Attorney 2, and I feel like that's inconsistent. Yeah, I think this is going to be our inconsistent tier game. Yeah, it is the inconsistent game. Like, the fucking 2-3. It's case two three. Yep. It still haunts me. It still haunts it's, me. It's so bad, and yet it's followed by such an incredible case. It mm -hmm. is, yeah. and that's the only thing that rescues it, which makes it inconsistent. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then finally, Phoenix Wright. 
Ace Attorney. You know, the first one. I don't know where it sits. This one's hard. Outstanding. For me, it's outstanding. I wouldn't accept lower than solid, though. I wouldn't put it yeah. so lower than solid. I will say that it's... three is a better game than one. Yeah. I think that's true. I think I'm inclined to agree with you. Definitely. Uh, there's, like, obviously, like, a storyline that they're telling. I feel like they sat down and were like, okay, here's game one, here's game two, here's game three, let's write game one. Was that the original way it was written in the first place? I no, I think it was originally, one was written as a standoff, and it was only later they were given the chance to go back to it mm -hmm. when one did well. Yeah. Right, because then, because two and three came out, what, in 01 and 02, or sorry, something like that? Like 02 and 04. 02 and 04. Wow, so when the DS came out, that's when the, G the last GBA game came out. That's that's wild. I didn't realize that was the case. So And then the DS version of one came out in two thousand five. So I guess what we're saying here is that our outstanding choices are Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations, the um, Ace Attorney the original, Investigations Two, and then uh, Great Ace Attorney One and Two. Mm -hmm. And our least favorite games are Leighton versus Right and Dual Destinies, which I think mm -hmm. I don't think there's mm -hmm. any argument here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I, I had to go look up everything about Dual Destinies. I didn't remember a bit of it. That's it's funny. a very boring game. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will still tell everybody that that last those last two cases are mind blowing. I'll still go on about it. It is mind blowing. There's there's good stories in both of them. Yeah. Like I like oh like I've said before, Layton vs. Right is probably the most disappointing game of all the Ace Attorney games I've ever played. It's the one that I was just led astray i was enjoying it and then it when you got to the end that's when it just took this hard left turn and i was just like what the hell happened here this is this is completely stitching together in incorrectly mm. but there's a good video that talks about the development process of Leighton versus right that um i watched like i don't know sometime last year and it actually cl cleared up a lot of questions for me like i'm i have completed a latent game and i'm about to finish the uh, second game and i'm starting to understand why this game is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's not to say and it has made me hate it a lot less but it doesn't mean that i'm gonna go tell people yeah you should play this game i, I usually will just tell it tell people now it's like you should play it if you're gonna play all the ace attorney games but just be prepared for this one to be the most disappointing and then dual destinies is just gonna make you kind of annoyed <laughs> But yeah, that's it. That's all of the Ace Attorney games. That's all of the content with that I intended to cover today. <laughs> um, that's it for today. Um, oh my god, this is way too loud for me. I think everybody's still on here. Um, do any of you have anything final you want to close off on before we go? If I can get this music to stop playing. Make a new thing, shoot check with me, please. <laughs> Something game, please. Anything. Me. I'd be Anything. welcome to get the chance to make something original too. Ghost Trick is his masterpiece, but anything yeah. at this point. I'll be playing Ghost Trick in we love you. June, I think it's coming out. It, it's oh so good. Ghost Trick is really good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Ghost Trick. Like, I've been told numerous times I should play Ghost Trick. I will play Ghost Trick. I will play it when it comes out on Switch because um, I would like to play it on something that doesn't look like but on, on um, stream. Because, like, the DS games don't play all that well on, on Twitch. Like, they yeah. do and they don't. It's just, it's awkward. Ghost uh, Trick looks... Its look scales very, very well, but, yeah. Um, any of you have final words? you want to pitch anything before we... Play Ace Attorney. Play Ace Attorney, yeah. Play Ace Attorney. Play Ghost Trick. Play Ghost Trick. Yeah. Play Ghost Trick. Yeah. Yep, Ghost Trick. Missile's the best. You're... Yeah, if you're not following HitLibC on Twitch.tv, you should do that. <laughs> yes, if I get a thousand, I'll play the Harvey Birdman game. That's okay. that's that's the thousand follower uh, celebration thing I'll do. I'll play Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law. I have the game; it's waiting. It's just whenever I hit a thousand. We are only we are only forty six people away. Uh, no, we're um, actually it's only um, thirty two people away. Oh, we got some followers during the stream. Yeah, awesome. so. You know, 32 people have to follow me, and then I'll play. Um, I'll play Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. 
Um, yeah, oh, well, nonetheless, thanks for everybody coming on today. I've been planning to do this for several months, and um, I'm glad that I got um, each of you on. I'm glad to call you all my friends, and I'm glad you all got to hear me talk <laughs> about this game for the past year and a half, I guess. It's been great. Yeah. Now we can all finally put a pin in Ace Attorney. No one ever has to talk about it again. <laughs> it's been defined. It's been defined. Wow. If anybody wants to argue with me about like any of that, I'm just going to be like, look, there was a discussion with all of the Ace Attorney fans. We all got together. <laughs> and we played Ace Attorney. Okay, well, bye everybody. I'm going to go bye. and set up a raid. I don't know, who's, who's, who's on right now that might be fun to drop a bunch of people on? Who streams? Yeah, who's streaming these days? Who does the streaming thing? These days? Nobody. Yeah. Um, I don't know what we can go and do. We can go and say hello to Aviants or... Um, yeah. Dance floor would be very useful. Yeah, like, let's, let's go right AV answer. Alrighty. Um, I'll probably be streaming on Tuesday because I think I need to finish Slayton. I know I haven't really set up my schedule lately, so um, I'm going to get back on that this week because uh, work has been stab, but Anyway, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye.